Hi friends, today I am going to show you how to use leap motion in MetaHuman. First uninstall already installed leap motion driver. So I am going to control panel and uninstall it. After uninstalling, download latest version of ultra leap sdk so i downloading 5.6 so for download you need to log in accept the agreement then it's automatically start downloading so i already downloaded so double click to install After installing, connect your leap motion device in your system. After connecting, it will show this kind of pop up. Just double click on leap motion. So you can see my leap motion is ready to use. Now I am going to show you how to download latest leap motion SDK for Unreal. So there is two way you can download latest leap motion plugin from marketplace or from github so i downloading from github downloading 4.5 unreal 5 version i already downloaded let's start create a new project so i selecting blank project blueprint version After opening, right click on content folder, show explore. So go to root, root folder of your project. So here we need to create one folder called plugins. So in this folder, I copy, I copy pasting leap motion plugin just cut and paste it here so here right now you can't see that plugin first you need to restart your unreal after restarting you can see plugins folder so if it not visible in here go to settings make sure show plugin contents is enabled otherwise it won't visible to get. for testing leap motion in unreal just go to example folder take leap motion desktop actor just click on play so you can see my leap motion is working in unreal properly now let's focus on our meta human rigging i creating new level and saved in content folder now i need to import my meta human character for that i opening bridge from the bridge i downloading my character I already downloaded so I just importing to my project so click on this arrow to import you just disable all pop-up close the bridge now go to meta human my character name is Tanya so you can see in content folder there is another folder meta humans then you can see my character in the Anya folder so you can see my character now go to plugin folder leap motion folder under leap motion there is folder called meta humans from here we need to create on hand meta human blueprint child so right click on that create child blueprint class
renaming bp underscore my player so my child class i moving to content folder so now you can see my care main blueprint player here just double click to open so i need to add my meta human character for that click on settings show inherited variables so if you are not clicking this thing you can't see that pawn so you make sure to enable now type here class so here you can see meta human bp class click on that in detail panel you can see meta human bp class so there we need to add my character for that go to my meta human folder select my character just click once then go to my blueprint click in this arrow it is automatically assigned here just click compare to compare and save it now go to my meta human just double click to open click on body in detail panel i need to select skeletal mesh click on that lens it will redirect to skeletal mesh location right click and create animation blueprint so i renaming anim underscore bp my player this is my animation blueprint this also i moving to content folder double click and open anim blueprint i need to reparent go to file reparent blueprint select body state anim body state anim instance so you can see in detail panel some other settings related to leap motion go to auto map target select both hands then click ignore vest translation and click on auto map button and click apply and click compare now i need to add some node go to a leap motion plugin folder and meta human open meta human templates so from anim graph and event graph i need to copy this all node control a to copy select all and control c to copy set my anim blueprint control v to paste and similarly go to event graph select all control a control c copy go to my control v so you can close my document template go to anim graph and we need to connect one node at the end so just drag to end and connect it so click on compile so you can see some error it is easy to fix right click on error don't click on node click on right error message and create variable then click compile there is some warning so same way right click on and create variable compile again and here was the one warning right click create variable click compile i need to assign animation so click on body anim bp class 
and I need to assign here. So go to select my anim class blueprint, click on the arrow, it will assign. Now drag and drop my main blueprint. Click play button. Just zoom out. So opening my deep motion. You don't want to open just I showing this for demo. So you can see my meta human hand is moving but you can see there one weird rigging issue so we need to fix I will show a little more closer so you can see our hand look like weird to fix that I need to open again our animation blueprint class So here go to detail panel there you can see mapped bone list under BS anim instance. So index 0 and index 1 there are two array element is there index 0 is indicating left hand and go to open bone map. So here you can see it is different upper arm it is coming. So change that to lower arm. Here also I need to select hand left. So other all thing it is correct. So you can keep it same as it is. I just showing what it is other thing already auto mapped items. So you don't want to change anything else. You just first two item you need to change. Other all thing you keep it same as it is. Similarly, I need to change right hand also so index one you open and open bone maps and change it you make sure you selected proper hand so this is hand right so hand underscore r apply and compile and save it now play again So now you can see our issue fix it. Thank you for watching my tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please support and subscribe.